Yeah. Um, Susan, what do you make of uh, President Trump's take on Liz Truss's economic plans for the UK? Well, needless to say, I tend to disagree with most everything that comes out of the former president's mouth. Uh, I, I will have to say that, you know, I hope that we have a great relationship, which we always have uh, with the United Kingdom. Uh, and I hope that continues. And I know the president feels that way as well. Uh, I think it's been interesting how uh, the only thing really that Donald Trump accomplished when he was president, let's say in, in, a, in a positive way for some, was to cut the tax rate for corporations and for large business, large wealthy owner, uh, business owners and wealthy people. Um, what we've got now is something that, you know, Joe Biden is trying to bring us all back from COVID. And we are coming back. There are more people employed in the United States now than ever have been. Uh, we've suffered, we've all suffered quite a bit during COVID. I, I think, you know, we, there was a joke when Trump was president about infrastructure week. Well, now we finally have infrastructure and people are saying how wonderful it is to reinvest. And we've just dealt with a horrible, horrible hurricane uh, that those funds will go to help and, and hopefully more. But the president is focused on reducing inflation. He's actually accomplishing that. Gas prices are down for, I believe, 100 and some days now or 14 weeks. Uh, and that's in the right direction. Sorry, sorry, but one sorry. other thing that we talked about at the very beginning, can America be saved? Um, Donald Trump continued on to something that was so divisive. And yes, our country is suffering right now. And thank goodness Joe Biden is helping to bring us back together again and talks about trying to save our democracy. You know, he gave a, a very heart rendered speech in Philadelphia a few weeks ago, and I was honored to be there for that speech. And it was really a clarion call to those of us that uh, are those that went to the dark side for a while, if you will. Did he not, did he to not go to the dark what side? We're about. It, look, it, looked like a, it looked like a speech delivered from the emperor's lair in Star Wars. I just want to pull you up a bit on a couple of things you've said there. The first being that gas prices are now down. Is that not down to the fact that he's just draining the strategic petroleum reserve? And inflation, no, I think it's down, no, I think it's down to a lot of different things. There's a lot of things happening. And, and, and we just passed the Inflation Reduction Act. Things are starting to move. Donald Trump does not want to hear that. Donald Trump wants this country to be divisive. Donald Trump will, you know, is putting us in danger. 53% of Republicans say that they're going to support him if he stands in a primary. Is, is it worth pointing out that Donald Trump may be the bogeyman, but the MAGA agenda of uh, small government, uh, cheap gas, uh, energy self-sufficiency, optimism in America's place in the world and its, and its strong place in the world is something that Joe Biden cannot deliver. The MAGA agenda is about dividing people. It's not about helping people. It's not about helping to bridge divides. It's like, who's the biggest bully? Who can be the most divisive? And it's about power. Like the crazy man, Putin, we have a crazy man, Trump who just yearns for power and putting others down. Joe Biden is, is, is such an effective leader and an effective legislator to move this country forward. We're having an election here in a couple of weeks. We'll see what happens, but I think we may uh, turn history on what normally happens in midterms, and we may actually come out on a better end because Republicans are fighting a cultural war. Joe yes, Biden is well, trying to lift this all up. Susan, thank you very much for speaking to me and, and thank you for agreeing to disagree, of which I... Can I, can I just say one thing? We all had great respect for, the, for your queen and we all really felt for the family. Those of us that have lost people know they must have been having a difficult time. So and I we, send my and, best to you. And we, we, we need to find things that bring us together and not use the rhetoric Absolutely. that was used in that disgraceful speech by Biden in Philadelphia the other week. Thank you very much. <laughs>